Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change sounds here inside of Minecraft 1.16. So you can make the opening chest sound sound like this. Now if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share and subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. Now I'll be doing this whole video using a free online converter and also free downloaded sounds. So it's everything that you can do easily without having to download any new software onto your computer. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to set up a new folder on the hard drive. And I'll switch over to the desktop and we'll show you that. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to make a new folder on your hard drive. I made one here, I just called this one New Sounds 1.16. And we'll build our new resource pack inside of this folder. First, an assets folder. I'll go ahead and I'll make that one. Just click on new folder and type in assets. There we go. Let's now find the path and the name of the file that we'll be replacing in this project. Let me show you where you can find that. I'll bring up another window here. There we are. And then just type in percent app data percent. Hit the enter key. And in here, I'll go into the dot Minecraft folder and then come down to the assets folder right there. Open this one up and then go into indexes and then find the version that you're playing with. Right now I'm working with 1.16 right here, so open this JSON file. Now if you're not seeing .json right there, go up to View, and then make sure you have a check mark right here that says File Name Extensions. You'll then see that .json. Okay, so open this one up. This lists all of the sounds and locations and everything else inside the game. It's a big, huge, long mess, so just ignore all of that. I know what we want to change. We're going to be changing the open file for the chest. So let's just do a search for chest. So I'll do Edit, find, and we'll do a search for chest. There we go. Find next. And there's the chest. And cancel that out. We can then scroll down. So the chest has three closed sounds and one open sound. And that's the one we want right there. And the important thing about this is two things. First, this part right here shows us the folders that we have to make in our assets file. And then the second one, this shows us the name of the file that we need to replace. Okay, now I'm going to just push this up here to the very top. There it is. Let's bring our folder back up again. And let's make these folders right there inside of the assets folders. Let's open this one up. Need a Minecraft folder. There we go. Let's open that one up. We need a sounds folder. Here we are. Inside of that one, we need a block folder. There we go. And inside a block, we need a chest folder. We'll put our new file right inside here. So the folder structure is now done. Now we need to find a new sound to use for the open sound, and we'll place it inside of this file folder. We also need to convert that to the .og format. But before we do that, we need to bring over the pack.mc meta and pack.png files. So just back up on your list right here, go back here to the Minecraft folder right there, come down to versions right down here, and then find the version of Minecraft that you're playing. Right now I'm on 1.16.1. Now 1.16.2 is going to be coming out in just a few days or next week. It's going to be coming out real soon here. So this will be 1.16.2 real fast. But it's exactly the same steps. So go into the version that you're playing. Inside here you're going to see a .jar file and a .json file. We need to come into the .jar file. Now you can open this one up with just the Windows zip program, but to do that, we have to get this over onto our local hard drive. So I'll go back on here, and this back up to our working folder right here. And then I'll copy this just by right dragging it over here, and I'll choose copy. There we go. Okay, I can now get rid of this folder. We're done with this for right now. I'll put that just to the side like that. Now to open this up in Windows without using any other program, just change the .jar to .zip. All this is, is just a standard zip file. It's nothing else, just a standard zip file. Choose OK. There we go. We can now open this up with the Windows zip program. So right click, want to go to Extract All, right there. This will use the Windows zip program to do this. Choose Extract, there we go. And it's going to go ahead and extract all of those files. All right, there we go. Now this can take two or three minutes depending upon your computer. This is a big thing to unzip. I cut all that bit out of the video just to save some time here, but it should open up right to this folder. This is just like opening up the zip. So let's go ahead now and scroll down. There's this big long list in here. Just scroll way down until we get down to the P's. 
and they're awfully far down here. Okay, there's the R's. Let's back up just a little bit in here. And there we go. There's the PAC MC Meta, and there's the PAC.png. We want both of these files. I'll just right click, drag over here, and I'll choose copy here. Now, if you want to, you can change the PAC PNG to anything that you want. It only has to be square. The default here is 128 by 128. I happen to like using 256 by 256 with my own image in there. But you can use anything you want. That's just fine. That's all it is. It just shows the pack in the list inside of Minecraft. It's just an icon. Now the pack MC Meta up here. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Now I have mine set to open up inside of Notepad. If you don't have that, just right click and then come down here. It says open with. Choose Notepad if you see it here. If you don't see it, then choose default program and then click on more options if you don't see it right here. And you'll see Notepad here inside of your list someplace. Choose Notepad. And you can double click on this, it will open this up inside of Notepad. Now in here, all you need to do, if you want to, you don't have to, is just to change the description right there. I'll just make this one say, New Sounds 1.16. Okay, that's good enough. Choose Save, and that's now done. So we have our pack PNG. I'll leave the default one here. We've fixed our pack.mc meta, that's all set to go. We have our assets, let's go in here and go into that folder which is right there. We can get rid of this and we're now ready to find a new sound file to put inside of here. On a site called freesound.org, it's a great public domain sound site. Just do a search for the sound you want and then see what comes up. And one of the ones I found here is this bicycle horn and I used this piece of it right there. And then I simply downloaded this and I'll save it into this folder right next to the assets folder. Just choose save and that's now saved onto our hard drive. Okay, now we can go ahead and use an online app to edit this down and then save it over to the .ogg file format. And the program I found that works out well is one here called bearaudiotool.com. I'll put a link for both of these sites in the description so you can find these. In here, all you need to do is just to drag and drop your files right into your location right here. You can then edit and then convert. Okay, I'll bring back up our file folder. There we go. And then let's just take the new sound file right here and I'll drag it right there and drop it on. There's the new sound file, and I want to keep just this bit. Now I like this program because it's really easy to use. I'm just going to go right in here, click and drag to the left, and I'll click on cut. And I'll come right over here, just to the right of that, click and drag to the right, and I'll choose cut as well. And that leaves us just this little piece. That's just the two beeps on the horn. Okay, now all we need to do is just to save this out. I'll come down here, it says save, click on this, I want to save this to the OGG format, the OGG format right there. Stereo is fine. I'll leave it at this bit rate. That's fine. You can choose different bit rates if you want to. But for this little opening up, that's just fine. No problem there. And then click on the Save button. It's going to go through and convert this and get ready for saving out. There we go. It's now converted. And that's using just that little piece right here and the conversion to the .og. Click on Save and then save into the right folder on your hard drive. Here we go, let's go into that right folder. It's in Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, Block, Chest. It goes right here. And we also need to rename this Open because that's what we found when we checked up on what the sound is supposed to be called. So I call it open.ogg, choose Save, and that's all done. Okay, we can now go back to our folders. There we go, and in here, we have our assets already finished. Let's go ahead and take one fast look at that. Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, Block, Chest. There's our new sound file. It's back up. So we need that one. We need the pack MC Meta and we need the pack PNG. I'll use the control key and I'll select just those three files. Now to zip this up using the Windows Zip program, just go up here to Share and click on Zip right there. You can then rename this. I'll call this one New Sounds and 1.16. There we go. There's our new zip file. Now we need to get this over into the game. So for that, make sure your game is not running. We're going to open up a new file window and find the right location. And we'll then copy this over to that resource pack location. Let me go ahead and bring up that new file folder. There we go. Let's go back up to the address bar and once again type in percent app data percent. Go into the Minecraft folder. And then come down where it says resource pack. Let's go inside of here. And you want to copy this new pack right over here. So I'll just click on that. I'll just right drag that over and choose copy here. There we go. It's now set inside the resource packs folder. 
Okay, let's now open up Minecraft and then we'll activate this new resource pack. Okay, here's our launcher. I'll click on play and I'll just skip real fast past all this opening up stuff as soon as Minecraft is ready to go at the title screen. We'll then pick the video back up again. Okay, here we're at the title screen. Just go into options, go into resource packs, and there it is right down there. I'll just copy this over. There we go. And let's get rid of this one right there. Let's get that out of the way. Okay, here's our new sounds we just finished. There's that pack PNG. I normally use this one, but I left that at the default just for this one video. Click on done. Let this load up the game, and then we'll test that pack out. Click on done, single player, and then go into my world. All right, here we are back inside the game. Let's go ahead and make sure that that sound is working on that chest. There we go, works great. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And of course, check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft stuff. And I'll see you next time.